Hello. Hello. And welcome to Explore Home Repeat. My name's Matt. And I'm Izzy. And today we are at Crocodiles of the World near Bryce Norton, Oxford. I'm really looking forward to this. It's a bit of a different kind of zoo, mainly just crocodiles and reptiles. We're here today to find out what it's like, if you should go, and is it worth the ticket price? So you're looking forward to your visit? Yeah, I think it's going to be really great. While you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We do day out reviews all across the country and upload once a week. Right, are you ready to explore? Yes. Let's go. Just as you come into Crocodiles of the World, you're instantly right by the entrance. So the entrance is just behind me, but there's, you're surrounded by glass enclosures, loads of crocodiles, lizards, caiman, things like that. Just straight off the bat, you're straight into it. This place isn't huge, so I guess they've got to pack in as many enclosures as they possibly can into the, into the space. So you know we love to do a tour of the map here. And just to give you sort of an oversight of what Crocodiles of the World is like, the kind of entrance is, is here, so you're coming kind of in the middle of the building. And you do this bit here, which is sort of loads of indoor enclosures. Um, then the main alligator house, and where they do those photos is, is around here. Then this is the kind of mammals area of the zoo, kind of a bit more outdoors, a bit more like a traditional zoo. And you come back up through the other side of this, this main building here, into there's a picnic and play area, and then the main big crocodile house, which is one of the newer bits of the, of the zoo. Um, so we'll head there next. So this is a Nile crocodile enclosure. Let's go and have a look. Lady just told me that apparently they're doing the feeding right now. So. Oh, well, we're very lucky, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, let's go and see this. But this place is amazing. It's probably a little bit humid on the camera. <gasps> Whoa. That doesn't even look real. Look at them all. Look at them. They're ready to eat them. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, that is a lot of Nile crocodiles. So this is just after the feeding, so I think they're all really gathered in one area. Yeah. Do you see them eat that rat? I think it's incredible. It's just the way they like jump and snap. That snap yeah. was really like, oh, that really does sort of sound ominous, doesn't it? You yeah, know? it does. <laughs> a bit of the enclosures are Thomas Stoner, some kind of freshwater crocodile, and they are absolutely gigantic. This one down here must be, oh, I don't know, 10 foot, 9 foot long. It's absolutely gigantic and they've got this really strange snout on them. It's really sort of long and thin. I know Matt said it earlier, but these enclosures are just incredible. Like, it's such a good perspective. Um, definitely come in here. It's very warm, as we've already said. Um, but it's worth it. So that Nile crocodile enclosure is brilliant. Really, really good. What did you think? Yeah, really good. Um, it's different. You know, it's like a different perspective. It's definitely worth going in there and just spending like five, ten minutes if you can handle the heat. <laughs> yeah, it is really hot, really humid in there. But like I say, it's definitely the kind of newest, biggest bit of crocodiles of the world and it's a really great enclosure they do the feeding there that was brilliant as we said a little bit gruesome but i guess that's the reality of it excellent make sure you go in there what have you found they're so cute. Look, look how close we are. <laughs> this is the UK's only crocodile zoo. But they do loads of really good experiences where you can kind of feed things and learn how to be a, a kind of keeper. So Nile crocodiles, meerkats, Komodo dragons, giant Galapagos tortoises. That would be amazing. One thing I would say about this place is a lot of the enclosures are actually pretty good size for what's a very small little zoo, to be honest. Um, really impressive enclosures. These uh, tortoises, loads and loads of room, good ponds, um, really impressed. So that was a really good afternoon out of Crocodiles of the World. What did you think? Yeah, really good. 
it's just a couple of hours long, but it's just good to bring your family, just have a little look around, learn a lot about crocodiles. Yeah, you know. it does what it says <laughs> on the tin, I suppose. Loads of different species, loads of enclosures. They got that little mammal bit as well. Yeah, no, that's good as well. It kind of breaks up that it just being crocodiles. Yeah. And, you know, well, see, a lot of crocodiles are quite kind of still and, and don't really do a lot. They just kind of sit there waiting for food. So they kind of need those mammals, monkeys, otters, uh, things like that, just to kind of break it up a little bit. Prices are 10.50 uh, for adults and 8.50 for children. I think that's probably about right. Yeah, I think that's about right. So gauging on from other zoo experiences, which we'll link down below, um, that's like half the cost of say, like Cotswold Wildlife Park. So, and you're spending half the time here. So yeah. that kind of makes sense. I would say it's, it's probably about right. A, a good price just for an afternoon out. That's pretty reasonable to us. So all in all, a really great day. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.